Thank you for joining us today and I hope to see you again at our future events. I welcome each and every one of you here the, today. My name is Jim Mean, Mean by name, Mean by nature and born that way. It's actually spelled as in Chow Mean, spelled differently. I'm one of the members of the, or well, I'm an outgoing, no, I won't, I'll change the word, I'm a retiring member of the Affinity Intercultural Foundations Advisory Board. There are quite a number of us from different walks of life. We are in total admiration of this organisation. First, I'd like to begin by respectfully acknowledging the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation as the traditional owners and custodians of the land on which we stand. We pay our respects to the leaders past and present and the emerging leaders as well. Affinity has been around a long time. For those of you who have never been to an Affinity event before, they are, I believe, one of the leaders in Australia in getting hard issues out in the general focus in a multicultural and a multi-faith dimension. There are very few organisations that can truly say they do that. Their aim is to promote multiculturalism and foster intercultural and interfaith dialogue by building bridges between different groups in society. And just to give you an idea of the wonderful work that Affinity does, they put together a short video clip, which we're about to show you up there, to give you an idea of their events in 2017, just to give some evidence to my claim that they are great at bringing hardcore issues to the fore. great career and it's wonderful to see them in the context of a great organization, Affinity. First of all, I'd like to thank our sponsors here, especially uh, Mr. Ahmed Polat. Thank you so much. Thank you too to the foundation uh, for the opportunity to be here. Faith is so profoundly important for our development and humanitarian work. Because we've got some expertise here uh, that is, uh, when it's brought together, is extremely valuable. So I asked the Vice President Global of Education for Microsoft why. And those are the values that I would continue uh, to advocate being taught in law schools in this country. Uh, from a UN report describes Yemen is now the world's worst humanitarian crisis. Thank you all for, um, for being here. Thank you, Ahmed, and uh, the Affinity team uh, for allowing me to, to speak, ladies and gentlemen. It's an absolute honour to be here tonight to help launch an exciting new lecture series focused on young people. Well, thank you very much for having me. Um, Barack and the Affinity Intercultural Foundation, um, I'd like to acknowledge the fantastic work that you do in the community and um, bringing different cultures and people of different religious backgrounds together. I think it's fantastic. How human rights safeguards children and young people. This is indeed a commendable goal and I'm delighted to be here today to be part of that dialogue. In my view, Affinity is doing excellent work to inform and advance multicultural Australia to keep peace in this country. Congratulations to Affinity. Thank you, Affinity, for this wonderful opportunity. I with Sev laud the work of Affinity. Uh, there is no other organization working in the field of interreligious relation that does it the way they do it and promote actual encounter of an ordinary sort between people of all sorts of diversities. I think it's heartwarming. It's one of the few things in life that really continue to give me hope and joy. So what then I believe is that this identity politics to a large extent in India has not become obstacle for the development of democracy, but rather it has enriched the democracy. My day is very focused on thinking about that. Uh, we have, so we have a news conference at nine o'clock and then at half past two, which is the afternoon one is very much looking through to those evening digital sessions, but also of course the newspaper. Uh, can I just firstly just to say thank you to Affinity for the invitation to come along today. It's a great pleasure to be here this morning and 
obviously following in some very esteemed company. So it's a, it's, a, it's a great privilege for me to be here, also to acknowledge my parliamentary colleague, Jenny Beyong. It's fulfilling to an extent, but there's got to be something that's greater than that. And that's how I see my contribution into Affinity and what Affinity does. So Affinity stands for promoting multiculturalism, stands for promoting interfaith dialogue, stands for promoting a good things in our community. Our speaker tonight asked me, um, as we were talking before, so are you involved with this organisation? And I said, yes I am, because I believe in what they do. And I'm very proud of them. I'm proud to be on the board. I want to thank Ahmed and your team for um, inviting uh, me to be along tonight. I have been here before and I've enjoyed it. This is probably my third time. And, and like Mary said, you know, it's that, and I think somebody actually on the DVD said, it's that opportunity for people who we live everyday lives just to be together and actually get to know each other and um, see each other as people first and foremost. So it's a really amazing thing that you're doing. Thank you so much. I think Affinity is a great organisation. I was going to wander around and talk, but I realised you only get to be on the video if you have the Affinity sign behind you. So I'm going to stay right in front of it. Sport is one of those um, codes that binds us in, in ways that are really quite significant. It also is a subject of deep and passionate division, and here I must declare first of all. <laughs> the academies are a program to support and empower Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students to take control of their future through in-school and after-school support and we are so proud of our contribution to helping improve the educational outcomes for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities of Western Sydney. And I've seen this uh, networking non-for-profit organisation go from its humble beginnings, working with the grassroots of Australia, and to now where we are creating dialogue with all Australians from all walks of life. And I'm very glad that Affinity has brought us together and brought us together with you. Thank you all very much for coming. I pay my respects to the indigenous people of our continental country uh, and I pay my respects to uh, all the people who are connected with affinity. And I think if Ataturk were around today, he would thoroughly approve people reaching out, uh, seeking to understand each other and in particular in countries of the book. But we must be vigilant all the time to protect our human rights and of all our sisters and brothers in this community. Many thanks to Affinity for inviting me to come along and talk to you about probably my favourite topic to talk about, which is the Anthropocene. And I think we've seen two diverse law schools here. It's important that um, law schools are different uh, and in some respects that they stick to their knitting, that they, they deal with what they're most expert at. Creating better cohesive relationships and really making it a safe and I think a very happy place to live. And I think it gels very nicely with Ahmet's affinity theme because it's so related. It's, it's about restoring and promoting, I think, strong and healthy relationships throughout the community. What we tried to do at the Bangtan Poetry Slam and what we've been successful in doing is helping people find their stories and, and express themselves in a way that is cathartic for them. Once again, thank you for attending today. I hope to see you next time. Thank you so much. Lovely day. That doesn't mean you go now. Actually, that was 2018, contrary to the script I was given. But that gives you a good example of the range of subjects, the quality of the speakers, and you go away each time being challenged, and you will be definitely challenged today. I now would like to introduce today's facilitator, Pallavi Sinha. Now, it's her CV I'll read, but it gives you another example of the quality of people connected with Affinity in its program. Pallavi is a lawyer, academic and speaker. She completed economics and law degrees with honours from Sydney University and was selected in the prestigious AFR and Westpac 100 Women of Influence list. She's also an award winner for excellence in law, journalism and community services. As principal lawyers with solutions, Pallavi has represented survivors of domestic or family violence, commonly called DV, and has also delivered numerous seminars on the DV. 
Balvi is also an appointed supporter of the joint federal and state campaign to stop domestic or family violence. She currently serves on the New South Wales Council for Women's Economic Opportunity, the Multicultural Co Consultation Council of the New South Wales Anti-Discrimination Board, and Vice President Australia India Business Council. She's also a former People of Australia Ambassador. Pallavi was the first Indian and Australian woman to be invited to join Saxton Speakers Bureau. She has spoken at global and national conferences. She is regularly interviewed by the media and is a popular and well-known speaker and writer, especially on topics such as Australia-India relations, education, social cohesion, and domestic or family violence. She's appeared on Sky News, ABC, TV, Q&A, The Drum, and The 7.30 Report, and BBC World. Her opinion pieces have been widely published, including the Sydney Morning Herald, the ABC, and SBS. And she's also presented submissions before government committees and contributed to changes to government policy on DV. It's my pleasure, actually, to welcome Pallavi to in be the facilitator today and to introduce our two very, very special speakers. Thank you, Pallavi. <laughs> 